Well, the competition level in the truck ser series is especially apparent when we look at what we call the silly season. More crew chief changes came about this week. Mike Skinner, John Munson's on top of the pit box today to replace Rick Wren. Why the changes and what have you learned this weekend? Well, first of all, Rick Wren and I are good friends and hopefully we'll stay, stay good friends. But uh, as an organization at Bang Racing, we just uh, had a lot of stuff. We just wasn't getting done. So I uh, kind of thought that maybe we'll try something different and Hopefully it works out good for everybody. I know it's been a pleasure working with John this weekend. We've got our little Toyota Tundra running really, really well. And uh, hopefully we can get some good results today for Toyota and Bang Racing. All right, Mike Skinner, always uh, willing to adjust to his team. Let's go to Ray. Fender right there. Oh, sure did. Um, Travis Quabble helped Mike Skinner by him. Now, will he stay behind Mike Skinner and see if they can drive away from Bobby Hamilton, or will he try to take the lead on his own? Toyota has never won a race in the upper tier of NASCAR. Right now we have two Toyotas in front of the pack. We heard him say at the start of the race that Travis put that new motor in his car, had to go to the back, so he's done a good job of working his way back up through the field. And I would say that that backup motor was every bit as strong as the original. Toyotas in front of the pack. Mike Skinner in front of his hey, teammates. Just, uh, keep your eye on those front two trucks. Keep in mind they're our teammates. And Alex Meshkin, the owner of the team, came down here and said to John Monson, new crew chief, we really need to get that 24 out to lead some laps. And they said, okay, if it's possible, we'll try to let him do that. But I just heard Travis come on the radio and say, I want to win this thing on my own. I don't want him to give it to me. I don't think he has to worry about Mike Skinner giving him the race win. If I know Mike, that'll be a hard fought battle. Look at Travis go to the outside right now. That's the place that Mike Skinner has been so good on the outside of the racetrack. And he drives by to take the lead, but watch out for Bobby Hamilton. The four of Bobby oh. Hamilton follows and we got the 24 the and smoke coming out of Brandon Witt's number 38. See stuff coming out of the exhaust pipes there. That may bring, it is going to bring out a caution flag. And Travis Quapel has got the lead. Travis was in the lead when the caution came out, so he'll be scored as the leader when they take the caution flag. And there was no letting him lead that time, Ray. He just drove around the outside of Mike Skinner. They freeze the field. Whenever a caution comes out, the field is frozen where they are at on the track. And so Travis Quapel had made that pass, and Bobby Hamilton had gotten by the 42 of Mike Skinner. And so it will be Travis Quapel, Bobby Hamilton, and Mike Skinner, your Toyota top three. Taking over the top spot as we look at our Toyota Spotlight. We saw early on, watch Travis Quapel here get behind his teammate Mike Skinner as he tries to take the lead. That's good team teamwork right there, Toyota teamwork. Travis Quapel pushing his teammate Mike Skinner to the lead. But Mike, Travis Quapel wants to win this race. This is this most recent restart when Travis Quapel drives by his teammate Mike Skinner on the outside. Travis well, Quapel is. His... Chief for Travis Quapel. How tough of a situation is this to be in a shootout with your teammate? I couldn't ask for anything better than this right now uh, to, to be racing Mike, having both the bang trucks up there. First time the Toyotas run one two at the end of a race like this. Um, and to be my sponsor's race, the Line X 200, um, we couldn't ask for anything more. I got a pretty big horse under the hood there. We had some engine problems last night, and those guys at Toyota brought us another one out. And we know every time we get one, it's it's better than the next. So uh, people thought we might be a little nervous this morning. I think even including you. And I told you I didn't have no worries about it. Okay, good luck. That's Eric Phillips, crew chief for the leading truck. Now here's Wendy. A new crew chief on top, Mike Skinner's pit box today. That's John Munson coming over to the team for the first race this season. This could be the day that Toyota gets the win. It looks like those Toyotas are getting anywhere they want on the track. What's Mike saying? The truck is very good. It just all depends on who goes with you and who doesn't. Uh, we're going to have to try to stick with Travis and then make a shot here at the end. Uh, we don't have a lot of time and we're a lot better on the long run, but these trucks are great. They're fun to work on. These people have been excellent to work with. Here we go. All right, we'll see how it all shakes out in seven laps. John Monson, five different drivers. He's taken to victory lane. Travis Quapel, Mike Skinner, side by side as they go to turn number one. Mike Skinner on the inside, Quapel on the outside. Travis is on the outside. No team orders right here. These guys are racing for themselves. They're not going to dictate who wins this race. They want one of them to win, but they each want to want to be their own. The outside truck usually has a little bit more momentum and on a restart. We saw that right there. Travis was able to keep his momentum going to keep the lead. This is six laps to go. If they have anything at all right now, if they have any moves left, they need to make it. Chad, remember, that's how Travis took the lead. He went on the outside of Mike Skinner on a, two restarts ago. He was able to take the lead. 
Now they've got a little bit of a gap over third place in the sets, so maybe they can decide it amongst themselves. They need to stay in line till we get to one or two laps to go and see if they can drive away. So if they get side by side, they don't allow Dennis Setzer or Ted Musgrave.